You know, we've taken 90% of the coalition casualties. American taxpayers have borne 90% of the cost of the effort in Iraq. And we see the result of there not being a coalition. The first Gulf War cost America $5 billion. We're at $200 billion and counting. John Kerry will never give a control over the security of the United States of America to any other country. We will not outsource our responsibility to keep this country safe. Mr. Vice President, you have 90 seconds to respond. Well, when the 90% figure is just dead wrong, when you include the Iraqi security forces that have uh, suffered casualties, as well as the Allies, they've taken almost 50% of the casualties in operations in Iraq, which leaves the U.S. with 50%, not 90%. With respect to the cost, uh, it wasn't $200 billion. Uh, you probably weren't there to vote for that. But the $120 billion is, in fact, what has been allocated to Iraq. The rest of it's for Afghanistan and the global war on terror. The uh, Allies have stepped forward and... Uh, agreed to reduce and forgive Iraqi debt to the tune of nearly $80 billion by one estimate. That plus $14 billion they promised in terms of direct aid puts the overall allied contribution financially at about $95 billion. Uh, not to the $120 billion we've got, but you know, better than 